My name is Peter Issa, born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica. Lived there my whole life, um, 31 years of age. So I'm the general manager of Issa Construction Limited, which is a construction company which focuses primarily on commercial projects. We also do developments as well as smaller fast food renovations, warehousing, office buildings, so a wide range of different commercial projects and also residential. So I got into construction when I came back from college back in 2013. Um, my father had a small project that was organized to start the following year and he was going to hire a construction company to do the project. And he, uh, he asked me if it's something I'd be interested in. He gave me the blueprints for the project and he basically said, you know, if you're interested, you can take on this project. I took the blueprints, made a couple phone calls and eight months later, the project was completed on time and within budget. And that was basically what gave me my start in the field. After that, I went and worked for a couple different companies that were construction related and got more and more interested in the field as we went along and the ISA construction is relatively young, we're only about three years old I think and we've been growing at a phenomenal pace. So that's kind of where the love for construction came about and it's just continued and deepened ever since then. So yeah, so on social media, I'm very vocal and loud about, you know, employing 100% Jamaicans and throughout our, throughout the start of the company and up until now, we've only hired 100% Jamaicans and Obviously there's foreign companies that are construction related in Jamaica and they are bringing down a lot of foreigners to work in the same industry. We've done a lot of work downtown Kingston, we've done a lot of work uptown and there's a lot of Jamaicans that are looking for employment and that are relying on us for employment. So that is one of the main reasons why I'm so passionate about employing 100% Jamaicans because if we have the capacity, we have the people to do certain jobs, then they should have the first option to do those jobs. Um, obviously, I see what it does on a first-hand basis when we employ and we allow our employees to get a paycheck every fortnight which sends their kids to school, gives them lunch money, provides for their family. So that's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about it and so vocal on social media because it hits close to home in regards to we employ a lot of people and we see the effect that it has on everybody so I believe in you know if a Jamaican can do it then they should definitely do it and they should be the only people to do it uh, because it's our country at the end of the day and in order for us to build the country and build the economy we have to provide for our people and give and that usually comes through employment um, do I think other people should be vocal about it? I mean, it depends on their passion and you know how they feel about it. But one thing I would say is, you know, in order to drive the economy, private sector has to work alongside the government. And if if the companies work together and just like PSOJ or form different bodies and are vocal because when you speak up things do tend to happen. If everybody stays silent and everybody is just doing what they're supposed to do then it won't be a change on a bigger level. We are here for a short time and in order for us to really make an impact we have to work together. It can't be just man for themselves. Um, you go to work, you make your money and then you know business about the next man. I think in order for the betterment of the country, everybody needs to come together and you know drive the economy. 
So my favorite part of the job, obviously, there's different parts to it. Um, on a construction site, from the start to the end, you know, there's a million different activities happening. There's multiple different meetings, communications, back and forth. And there's a lot of days on a site that may be slow, and there's a lot of days that may be very, um, that a lot of activities may be happening. My favorite part of the job is being on site when there's a lot happening. That's when a concrete pour is happening, when there's multiple subcontractors on the site. For example, they're tiling, the drywall men are putting up drywall on one side. There's deliveries happening. So when a lot is happening and the site is running at its peak efficient level, that's my favorite part of the job. And just seeing everything come together. When you start with a patch of dirt land and you put up a commercial building and you drive by it and you see people working in the building, that's also, you know, it feels, you know that you were integral in that whole development and putting everything together. So that's also a favorite part of mine as well. So as a relatively young entrepreneur, um, getting the L, earning respect in the industry is difficult. And it comes through hard work, it comes through dedication, and it comes through basically mastering your craft, because that's how you earn respect. And I have something I live by, which is a 10,000 hour rule. If you spend 10,000 hours doing anything, you become not necessarily a master at it, but you become very knowledgeable about that particular practice. And construction I've been doing for the last, I would say, 10 years. So there's, you know, there's people when I came into the industry, I used to call for advice, and now they're calling me for advice. And the way in which you go about that is you, you know, you, you study it and you study it and you study it and you eat it and you sleep it and you drink it. And that way, whenever a question is asked or whenever anything is happening, you know the answers to because you've done your due diligence, you've done your, you know, you're studying, you've done your research. I mean, when I'm at home, I'm working. When I'm at work, I'm working. I'm working nonstop. And in order to earn respect, you have to bring something to the table. And in order to do that, it comes with whether it's passion or it's not passion. It it spending time non-stop not necessarily just spending time doing something but loving it and asking questions you can you can never ask too many questions and that's one thing i live by as well even if you walk on a construction site and you see how you see a worker painting the wall you can you ask him why are you painting the wall like that don't just assume that he's doing an activity in a certain way because everybody will have a different answer and that's how you get to understand something through asking questions and learning different ways to do different tasks because in order to be efficient you have to know different ways to do certain things you can't just stick to one way so when you start learning these things and you know then you can sit down and the elders will be like you start talking to them and that's how you know you'll earn their respect over time it doesn't come easy but nothing good in life does um, so if for young entrepreneurs trying to make it in jamaica a uh, piece of advice for me to them would be you know find something that you're passionate about not everybody is fortunate enough to do that but if you do it, it it's a bit easier however if you don't advice still remains the same and that is treat everything as if it's your own so whether you're working for tom dick or harry it doesn't matter when you go to work being on time is late always be early everything that you do do to the best of your ability and what you do is by doing that you create value so your employer will understand the value that you bring to the table and once you let your value be known then you by every means will be successful in what you're doing because the, the company doesn't want you they need you and that comes with basically whether you're working eight to five or you're working 20 hours a day it's all about what you're putting into it it's you know in on a construction site for example it's finding 
better ways to do tasks. It's organizing. It's planning. It's planning on Sunday evening for an efficient Monday instead of waiting for Monday morning to start planning your Monday. So it's everything that basically works hand in hand. It's not just one. It's not just one part of the work. It's, you know, if you're making a cup of coffee for your boss, it's making the coffee to the best of your ability. If you're drafting a lease agreement, it's dotting every I, crossing every T, reading over the agreement multiple times. So it's, it's basically, you know, whatever you're doing, do it to the best of your ability and give it 150%. And once you do that as an entrepreneur, as an employee, you're going to be successful. So growing up, growing up in Jamaica shaped me into the, I don't know how it would be growing up anywhere else because I've only known Jamaica. Um, but I would say that, you know, Jamaica is a small country and one thing that I continue to drive home to everybody is that Living in a small country, everybody talks, right? So if we get awarded a job, for example, and we go and do a terrible job for Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown is going to call his friend and say, oh, well, you know, it's a construction. So it goes to say that growing up in a small country, you have to understand that what you do and your reputation is really all that you have. Because as quick as it comes, it can, it can go just as fast. And so what it has taught me is to always put the customer first, make sure that they're pleased at all times, and basically maintain a good name with everybody, whether you're out socializing, whether you're working in an, a bank with, with your coworkers, whatever it is that you do, you want people to say, well, you know, that guy is a good guy, is, you know, he's a real youth, is this or is that. And, that's one thing about Jamaica is that you walk into the supermarket, you know everybody in there. You walk into a bank, you walk into a bar, you're going to see people that you know. So it's important for people to respect you and it's important for you to deal with people good. When I'm not working, I would say I'm at home spending time with the family. Um, Spending time with good friends, you know, hanging out, talking, giving them advice, getting advice from them, um, going to the beach, you know, enjoying life. Life is short at the end of the day. We tend to get caught up in what, you know, what's going on in the world and, you know, caught up in work. But at the end of the day, you know, ensure to spend time with your loved ones and ensure always enjoy life and you know every Sunday I'll be at home um, watching the Top Lodge video that comes out that Sunday um, and just enjoying it and basically make the most of life work hard but make sure to enjoy life as well so currently we're here on Spanish Town Road in Kingston Jamaica where we're undertaking a restoration of a massive warehouse project for a client of ours in which we're going to be changing some of the roof sheeting, re uh, restoring some of the siding, putting in loading bays, putting in ramps, putting in a new fire system. Um, basically a full transformation, re-asphalting the driveway, putting in lighting, changing the barbed wire fencing, um, putting in a new guardhouse, new boundary wall, a variety of different works. This project is slated for three months and it, we're just getting underway now.
Wagon Squad, thanks for watching the video. Very happy to have you guys here. Before you go, please just remember to like and subscribe. It'll mean the world to us. Thank you. See you soon.